Hey everyone, it is Yasmin Woodland and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about some sad, sad news. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we will be talking about Janelle Evans from Teen Mom 2 and the passing of her dog, uh, Nugget. So before I get into this, I'm just going to say that I have watched Teen Mom since it first aired, since the first seasons with uh, Farrah and things of that nature. and just as of recently, I just stopped watching it. I just have so much going on and I just haven't gotten around to watching it. But yes, I have been, I have been so in tune to, you know, Teen Mom since the show first aired. Now, when Janelle first uh, appeared on Teen Mom, um, I did notice that she was just always in relationships with men trying to seek love from them. And I think like that is just her biggest downfall when it comes to, relationships and things of that nature and I'll touch more on this after um all my final thoughts after we talk about the news all right you guys so according to numerous sources and uh David Easton himself it says that uh David Easton has admitted to killing their family dog and, and ending the dog's life now what I want to say is this David had initially lied and said that the dog was alive. There was a lot of speculations at first, you know, of people saying, okay, is the dog alive? Is it dead? You know, there was police called to the home and he was lying and saying, no, the, the dog is fine. The dog is okay. It's alive. It's well. Um, it wasn't until recently Janelle took to her, to her Instagram and she posted um, a post on her Instagram to her fans pretty much debunking his lie and actually stating the truth and she did confirm that um, her dog Nugget has um, passed away has been killed by her own husband David Eaton so what I'm gonna do you guys is just kind of post what Janelle has said on her Instagram and it reads Nugget, I'm crying every day. I love you so much and I'm so sorry. I'm speechless. You are my sidekick and knew the moment I felt bad and would cuddle with me. You still had a lot to learn, a lot to grow from, your lessons. Every day I wake up, you're not here. When I come home, you're not here. When I go to bed, you're not here. You... You're gone forever and there's no coming back. Hashtag heartbroken, hashtag distraught. All right, you guys. So that is a post that Janelle had posted on her Instagram confirming the death of her dog, uh, Nugget. Now, in the post, she did not state that David had did it. It was actually David Easton himself who came forward and actually stated, yes, I killed the dog and here's my reasoning for killing the dog. Now, as you guys know, David has always just kind of been a ticking time bomb, but I personally did not feel like this guy would actually go this far. So he takes to his Instagram account and he finally admits that he took the dog about prox approximately two miles away from the home and shot the dog in the head and killed it. Now, the reason why he said that he had killed this dog, you guys, is because he said that the dog almost bit Inslee's face off. Now, if you guys don't know who Inslee is, Inslee is the daughter of uh, Janelle Evans and David Eason. I believe she's about maybe one, one and a half. She's still uh, fairly young, but David has a reasoning um, and he had stated that, well, the reason why I sat over here and killed the dog is because the dog almost ripped and chewed my daughter's face off and he posted a video you guys right and I, I, I'm I'm just speechless myself he posted a video um, and I'm gonna post some screens screenshots for you guys he posted a video of the dog and Ensley his daughter on the couch just um, relaxing and playing and I think Ensley may have um, touched the dog in a way that it didn't like or maybe Ensley pulled on its tail or did something to kind of aggravate the dog and the and the dog just simply just barked you know did a little bark and did a little nip but there was no deep wounds there wasn't any bleeding everything was pretty much just subfacial so the fact that david took that incident as oh my gosh i need to go shoot and kill this dog is quite disturbing to me and it's also quite disturbing to a lot of other fans 
family members on their side, friends, I'm sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone is just trying to piece together what exactly was his thought process on killing the dog and did he really think that him killing the dog was justifiable, you know? So I know that David has not been a part of this Teen Mom 2 show for a while. So I'm just going to kind of get into my final thoughts here, you guys. He has not been a part of this Teen Mom 2 cast for a while, for a while. And here's why. David had made some homophobic comments um, not too long ago. And for that, uh, Teen Mom decided, OK, you no longer need to be a part of the show. Um, in the midst of that, there has been numerous domestic violence calls from Janelle to her local police department about David putting his hands on her, David hitting her. She's thinking um, maybe some, a body part is broken because he had assaulted her. And David just seems like he has a lot of anger problems and underlying issues. So yes, I'm shocked at this news that he shot and killed the dog. But in the same sense, I really should not be shocked because we have to look at the behavior. We have to look at the patterns of this person. Okay, what does this person normally do? What is their behavioral patterns? Are they pro-social? Are they anti-social? You know, does it seem like they have a lot of anger issues? Does it seem like they're kind of disconnected from the world, you know? Um, as they stated in Team Mom 2, he deliberately wanted to purchase a piece of land with Janelle that was just completely, just completely in the middle of nowhere away from Janelle's mom, her, you know, her other family, certain friends. He deliberately wanted to isolate himself and his family and Janelle away from the entire world pretty much. So those things, those behaviors you have to look at and you have to take into account of who you are dealing with. So I'm not really truly shocked about this news. I just know that David has a lot of underlying issues and I know that if Janelle does not get away if she does not sever ties with this guy if she does not you know do anything for the safety of not only herself but her kids it's only a matter of time before something major happens something worse than this situation can occur you know heaven forbid to maybe her or her children you know uh, her husband David Easton he's just in a lot of negative press lately, you know, from domestic violence to killing the dog. And just recently, um, he was, he is facing some sort of a jail time for non-payment of child support. If you guys don't know, he does have um, kids and things of that nature. And he owes one of the baby's mothers some child support. And he is currently not working. He hasn't been working. He's living off of Janelle. He's unemployed. So, you know, he is facing jail time if he doesn't pay that money for the child support. So I think ever since, you know, David has been off of Teen Mom 2, I think that Janelle and her mother, um, if you guys have not tuned into any of the uh, seasons or anything, Janelle and her mother, they have had a tumultuous relationship and ever since David has kind of got the boot off the show, it seems as if they are getting closer. You know, Janelle used to be on drugs and drinking and super irresponsible, but it seems like she's now not on drugs. She's not drinking as much. She seems to be more engaged with her kids and she seems to be, you know, having more responsibility and playing more of a motherly role and things of that nature. And I think that is like the tip of the iceberg and I think that's that is exactly what Janelle needs in her life is to just separate from David and his negativity just so she can have a better relationship with her mom so she can focus on herself and the safety of her kids you guys safety is first no matter if you are in love no matter if you have a close friendship or if it's a family member it does not matter safety is first and it matters about your children it matters about your own well-being and i think janelle just needs to hurry up and just seek help and seek some sort of peace in her life because i think everyone is just has this heightened anxiety about what's next type thing you know is it going to be a phone call about someone getting shot or you know david he is known for having guns and weapons and poisonous darts that he posted on his instagram and you know he has an, an entire just collection of bullets and ammunition and all these things in his home you know and whatever 
what if one of the babies gets a hold of any of those things and harm themselves? I mean, you just don't know. And I just think David is just extremely, you know, he just really is a lost soul at this point. You can look inside of this guy's eyes and see that something is just not right. Something is not off. Something is truly off about this guy. And Janelle always just tries to cover up you know anything that he does or she'll call about a domestic violence or and then you know later she'll try to debunk it and said it didn't happen she tries to cover up for him because i think she is desperate for love you know we've seen that pattern in, in her life since teen mom um she'll just do anything just to get acceptance and love from men because she lacked that with her mother but i think everyone is scared for her rest in peace to the dog nugget um, this story just struck me differently. Normally I come on this channel, you guys, and I'm just like peppy. I'm bringing you the juice, but you know, the juicy news, but this type of news is sad news, you know, and I'm, it just hit me different because I'm an animal owner myself. You know, I have animals and I love animals and I don't think that this was justifiable whatsoever i think david is a thousand percent wrong i think there should be now that he admitted it and self-incriminated himself obviously there's an invest ongoing investigation on the situation and i hope that they can bring this dog to justice because this is not right he needs to be charged with animal cruelty and i think that this is going to be a wake-up call maybe in his life so he can get help and see, and see that, all right, you know, I am going too far. Yes, I do have anger problems. You know, maybe I don't think rationally, hey, maybe I can, you know, take some help at this point because I think that if help is not gonna be had on either party, on Janelle's part or on his part, it's just gonna be something a thousand percent worse than these situations that has happened so far. So pretty much, you know, I just want to know your guy, you know, you guys' thoughts on this situation. What do you think him, what do you think should happen? You know, do you think he should get charged with animal cruelty? Do you think it should be, you know, something, maybe a different charge? Do you not agree? You know, let me know in the comments below on if you've been following Team Mom and what you think about this entire situation. And until then, you guys, make sure that you subscribe and tap the bell to get notifications whenever I upload. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video, and I will see you next time. Alrighty, you guys. See ya.